and it's time for another review. So I'm reviewing something I've been meaning to do for a while, and I might help you. This is a pneumatic Henry vacuum cleaner, and you're watching Florence Ballad A 3060 on film. So for today's product that we are reviewing and looking at, this is a cylinder vacuum from the Pneumatic International brand, and it's the Henry model, model HVR200A in a lovely yellow colour, otherwise just known as Henry's. These vacuums are called Henry Hoover's, um, is what they are nicknamed as. For those in the UK and around Europe as well, possibly Ireland as well, I think they got these. You'll instantly recognise these vacuums, for they are the vacuums with a cheerful smiling face. Uh, they're the only vacuums that ever took on this kind of design, and there's a little bit of a backstory behind it. When Pneumatic first made their vacuums in the 70s, they didn't make them with smiley faces. For any collectors who are watching this will remember the NV250 model, which was the red aluminium one, I believe it was. It was just a steel canister. Apparently, Pneumatic, a uh, story that I've been told is that Pneumatic received a lot of uh, customers abusing their vacuums, they were broken, and so they thought by putting a smiley face on there it would stop, you know, people wanting to kick the vacuum around, as I have seen many people throw their vacuums around in distraught. <laughs> so, this brand has been going on for decades, since the 80s, and the Henry brand has been changed very little over the years. The design is all the same, just with different features along the way. Nowadays uh, your vacuum cleaners are the same with these but they have a lower power to them. Their motors due to a lot of uh, power regulations coming in which is why a lot of vacuum cleaners are no longer sold. Pneumatic have made many vacuums but they're mainly known for the Henry's and uh, there's also the Pink Hetty which I also own. So through their years, Pneumatic have maybe been famous for the Henry vacuum. However, Henry isn't just the only name they do. The other most famously known model is the Hetty, which is supposedly he, she's either Henry's wife, girlfriend, I've heard sister. We don't know. Everyone's got their own theories of what it is. I say she's Henry's girlfriend. Um, so she's basically the same as Henry, just with a pink container. Uh, more fe uh, feminine detailing and pink colour. Uh, Pneumatic also provided uh, the wet and dry market with the Pneumatic George. George is the larger container, three in one multifunction vacuum cleaner. He uh, does regular drying vacuuming like all the rest, but he also does sh carpet shampooing and extraction. They did make another model similar to George, who was the blue one, Charles, which I sadly don't have. Uh, but he was only for wet extraction, so you could not do shampooing. The shampooing is done by attaching nozzles to this, and uh, I shall one day demonstrate him. However, Pneumatic also provided basic budget models for with much more simpler tools. And he came in the form of Basil. Basil was no longer produced, but he is a stripped down version of all the other pneumatics with a single speed 1100 watt motor and basic tools, and he does not feature the famous cord reel, which these two have. That's my pneumatic range. I do have um, another special one called the Medivac, which was also produced for people with dust allergies. This also came in the form of the Henry Micro, which means it had a Microtex filter to it. Pneumatic Henry's and all other dry vacuums use HEPA flow uh, disposable uh, filters. These are the bagged ones. They did use paper ones for the earlier models and they switched to the disposable ones like that, the cloth filters. 
The Pneumatic Henry Micro and the Medivac have, I believe it's triple layer uh, filters because they are specially designed for people with dust allergies. So like myself, it is a very handy vacuum to have because in the spring and summer I suffer from hay fever. Pneumatic have been very successful and according to one of their latest models they released uh, on the box it says that they have made over 10 million Henrys and so far most of them are still going strong. You can buy them in all sorts of different forms now. There's the Henry Compact ones which are cordless. There's the 160. I'm not too familiar with what all the other ones mean but they're just as good quality just with a, a much more less powerful motor. They also provided pneumatic John and Lewis for the department store John Lewis. And pneumatic have also made industrial vacuums for asbestos safety removal and workshop vacuums too. Guaranteed that about 8 out of 10 hotels or businesses you go to, you'll at some point have seen one of the staff members or cleaners dragging around one of these vacuum cleaners. Whether it's a Henry Hetty, Basil, Edward, they did make loads of other ones including um, some very rare vacuums. They also catered for cleaning companies such as BXBX and Nationwide who had their name printed at the top. You will find these vacuums across the internet uh, either on eBay, Gumtree, Marketplace or indeed in other collections. These vacuum cleaners are very famous and iconic amongst us vacuum collectors including uh, one particular collector who's called Pneumatic Rule 29. I thought I'd give him a shout out. He has one of the biggest pneumatic collections I've ever seen. And also for our fellow vacuum cleaner reviewer, who I am not trying to steal your thunder, goes to Ibasiak, who is a very successful vacuum cleaner reviewer. And he has done, uh, he's done a George, and I believe he's done a couple of Henrys as well. So I'm not gonna waffle on. I'm going to demonstrate the one we have been here to see, which is the Henry, and I will at some point focus on these ones as well. Before anyone asks, vacuum cleaner wise, if, if I have a favourite out of my vacuum collection, yes I do. Basil is my favourite. Uh, he has been my favourite since I was three years old, and going by my washing machine side of things, he would be the equivalent to the Hoover A3060 to me. In this collection, I uh, wanted one in yellow. I haven't got a red Henry yet, but I'm looking for a Henry Micro, so an older version. So we're going to focus on the yellow one, and I'll talk you through all the tools, and we'll do a little uh, demonstration. So if you have just purchased a new one of these, you can still buy these from certain appliance stores, uh, but I will link in the description and going by my screen recording on my phone, uh, we will look through some of the uh, models you can buy of these. You can still find these ones on Amazon. So, you have your vacuum cleaner. Comes with this, which is the crevice tool. This is a device you'll use to vacuum under furniture with, and also to get into corners of rooms and all little nooks and crannies. It's basically the hard to reach areas that the normal floor wand cannot reach. Pneumatic provide a hook on the back of the vacuum. Now a newer feature, what these have, is the docking at the back. This is your carpet wand, or floor tool, whatever you might like to call it. It's for hard and soft floors. For carpet mode, you will keep this lever here up, and it can glide across the carpet, but when you go to half floor, you simply flip this back, which will deploy the brushes underneath, and that can be used on hard floors. These are not self-adjusting, so you have to adjust them yourself by putting your foot on that and pulling back. The newer tools, uh, newer vacuums, this one is from 2013. The older ones did not have this feature. You either had to keep the tool on the, on the pipes or store it somewhere safely, but the newer ones all have this dock at the back and it just simply sits on the back in storage. Pneumatics are very simple to use. They don't become with a, with a vast amount of poles and telescopic poles and whatnot, but they are very simple in their design and very effective. These are your uh, tubes you get. You get one handle with an air adjuster. This is an older version, uh, but th this is all the same. Pneumatic uh, all have universal parts rega regardless of models. You have, the only ones that aren't universal are the wet and dry models, which have specialized 
and modified uh, pipes to suit uh, all the other shampooing and wet attachments. But this is your air sort of concentrator. So as you turn that, it reduces the air, and if you turn that way, maximum suction. You get two longer poles with this. The length of that provides enough safe uh, holding distance without you having to bend down to vacuum. And then last but not least, well, of this part, your hose. Uh, they also, pneumatic also provided extension tubes for these, which could go much longer. This end cuffing design changed over many years, but they all screw on the same. You simply fit to the front of the vacuum, and it forms like an elephant trunk for them. And it just sits on like that, and you can, you can either leave it on like I do, or just take it straight off. And then you'd always have a bag of additional tools which came with them. So you've got an extra tube here which is to reduce the, um, this is for certain tools that can't fit onto the smaller ones, so you just put it in like that. I've never really understood that one, to be honest. <laughs> I've never really used it on many other things. This is your upholstery tool, and it normally comes separated. So that's not a tool on its own. This brush, it slides in here, and then that's been used a lot, so no, it will come a lot more cleaner than that. I just need all that off, yeah, see? I'm throwing it on the floor because we're going to do a dirt pickup after this. And then you have your dusting brush. This is good for dusting surfaces, corners as well. Um, they slightly change the length of this. I've got some of that are slightly smaller. Yet again, they all fit on the same way. And you'll be supplied with about five or three to five of these HepaFlow bags. I will show you how to fit them to your vacuum cleaner. They are disposable, so they are not empty and re reuse, although I have known some people to do that, and I will admit I've been guilty of doing that, but you're normally meant to replace them once the bag is full. It comes with a this lovely but yet simple lock on it, or sort of closure. It basically goes over the end, closes it, and stops any dust from come billowing out. So they're not bagless. I would probably prefer if they were bagless, but to be honest, changing a bag, it's the most simple one I've had to have had to change. And I'll have a look at everything else. On the top of the vacuum, you have your carrying handle for easy pickup and maneuverability. Uh, they have, most of them have been folding, even the early ones, but my pneumatic Basil and George have a fixed one across the top. This here is your cable reel. It I was only on most of the Henry models, and it wasn't on many of the earlier ones either. So your cable comes out the side, and after you're done, you simply turn this, pulls it in. So you're not having to stand there for hours or however long it may take, constantly wrapping it around. I'm not going to mention the brands that do that, but some of, some of the most leading brands do still have that. Uh, nowadays you have a push button which sends the reel back in. And then you have your controls. Now the red and green has always been a thing for pneumatic. Uh, some of them had it at the side, or the earlier ones, but now it's on the back here. You have your simple green. Now this changed. Um, before the red used to be your power button and this was your speed selector. But once they brought these models out, if you look for the ones with the green star on the front, that means auto save model. It's a more energy friendly model. When you start the vacuum off, you flick this one here, the green one. This light comes on and it automatically by default starts off on low mode, which is, I believe it's 800 watts and then you flick this if you need higher power. But what that ensures is that the vacuum cleaner always starts off on low power. Because your ones you'd have a simple rocker switch as well um, for the dual speed models that control your power but you, a lot of people left it on high. Um, and then the single ones just have like that. Which is now what you find is that there's just a light here but there isn't uh, another one there. Uh, of course you have your cable which is up to 10 meters. Uh, most vacuum cleaners today, some of them provide up to 5 meters which is not very long. But 10 meters will serve you to go up a whole flight of stairs and have the vacuum cleaner plugged in downstairs. This is what I have been able to do with this. And to be honest really, that's it with what's on here. Uh, at the side you have these two levers, you pull them out, let you lift the hat off on the top. I'm going to show you how to fit 
a new Heprofo bag. So when you get it, you'll notice it has a side where there's writing on. You always have that side facing up. This side faces the same side as the nose. What you do is you pop this little latch open, make sure that's open, and holding by the two sides, you slide it over the front nozzle. Some might feel a bit tight fit, but most of them they'll go on with these. Push all the way to the front, making sure the lip is over the little seam here. It needs to be all the way to the front, and then you just basically push that down. Never use one of these without a bag because they're not designed for it. The whole lot of this inside can become clogged. I have seen this happen to many vacuums and it's one of the reasons they get they break down because sometimes there's even people that use it without the filter on top, which is this. You can machine wash these. Um, I've done that to a few and they can just go straight in. So make sure they're dry before you put them in. They just help stop any dust going into the motor. So you pop that on that way. Make sure the lip sits properly. You can see there, that goes straight in like so. And then lock. Make sure it's lock, locked in. That's the way you check. And then just go. When you're done with that, you get your hose and you attach it to the front and tighten until that's loose that's on there. Now, sometimes these hoses have a habit of coming detached here. Um, if that does happen, you just screw it back in through that way. This is the extension hose, what I've got on. Now, the end here, I'll show you what you connect. You first connect this one, the sort of L wall piece. Make sure this is all, the straight part is always at the top. I've seen a lot of people connect it that way, which is actually wrong. Um, you're actually meant to connect it blank end first. So just that part without the nozzle. And then you can connect your two pipes. And to start off with, we'll use the floor wand. Now if you're using it on carpet, make sure that the brushes are retracted or are attracted. And then we're ready to go. So once you're plugged in, you're ready to go. So you'll flick the on button here. A little light comes on. And we start off on low power. And we're good to go. So let's begin. Got bits of dirt around there, so we'll see. Yeah, that does just picks it up straight away. You don't need to spend like so long doing this. Just glide across. Pick up everything. Well, my carpet is quite smooth, so it tends to slip. But the suction on these, even at low power, is actually pretty good. So you'll rarely need to use the high power, mainly if you've got extra dirty carpet. But you can buy attachments called the Hero Brush on this, which allow you to have a rotating bar that basically beats the carpet. Mainly good if you've got and you've got pet hair lying around. Might be able to hear it all going up through. Nothing more satisfying after using this than getting a Get a bit of a workout though, pushing it with how you also get exercise as well. So good if you're in quarantine and need to vacuum. You also get an arm workout as well. Of course, there are some bits that might be tough to get out, so I'm going to use the high power now. 1200 watt. Yeah, I guess that gets deeper in, that does.
With the autosave ones, you can actually run them for longer um, without them getting as hot as the other ones have. I have used older models and I have had, um, I have had one overheat on me on occasion. Yeah, that does, that does pretty good. But now we're going to try out the crevice tool. See how that works. Look at that. So this, is, this is tumble dryer fluff. Come out the white nights and towels and whatnot. Takes it. You also go over little bits of your carpet with it and it actually gets a deeper clean. Enables me to get into the corner, see there? Get all that stuff that a normal carpet one would not reach. I even use this one to clean my uh, tumble dryer hoses. And look at that. I made a mess of some uh, crisps. Look at that. Something and that's just stick the out in a bit. That's a real good job. I even use it to get into the dryer with. I open the door and I, I just get the lint foot around and vacuum that way. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this downstairs because I've got the whole house to do and I'm going to demonstrate that on a half floor and we'll see how that functions on a wooden floor in comparison to carpet. So this is going to be a hard floor test. Made a little bit of a mess on the floor. So what you do is in the carpet mode, put your foot here, pull the lever back, and it drops the brushes down. And we're ready to go. So I'll show you how well this will pick up. Yeah. And then can you see that? Every last bit is picked up. And it glides very Effortlessly. Uh, Such a good job in getting into all the nooks and crannies. You can put it under there. That shouldn't be off. Look at that. Fantastic job. Being on hard floor. So let's say down the side of the cooker, where a lot of dirt goes unnoticed. Let's go right down the side. Underneath as well. And the other side. 
you know, the little cupboard there, see? Push it down the side, and get all these little crannies. How about the washing machine? So if we look at pneumatic Henry's on the market, we are looking at what we can buy at the moment. So the top one, I believe, is a rented one that you can buy. So I don't see why it'd be for a pound. But starting off with this one here, you have the pneumatic Henry 160, model HVR 160 from Curry PC World for £139. Energy rating A, and look at that, you even have a five-star review. It's also available nearby. So that's handy if um, Curry's PC World are doing click and collect, I believe. They're not actually open for browsing. Uh, HVR 200A, here we go, from green and white for £119. Screwfix, the builder's merchants, they do the Pneumatic Henry XL, uh, 620 watt vacuum for £159.99. This is a uh, Henry with a much larger capacity pickup with uh, the bigger base. So basically like my George. Uh, there's the same with the pneumatic NRV200. Builder Depot style, that one. John Lewis and Partners are selling the pneumatic Henry Plus for £159.99. You can even buy uh, Hetty from, for £99.99. Look how much we come down by. It was £139.99 from Argos. So that's Hetty 160 um, there's even some choice of colours here as well. The £169 Pneumatic Henry Clean Air from Curry PC World. And there's the Henry Pet, which is the one that replaced Harry. One of the only green Henrys you can buy now. Argos, £129.99. Come down by £30. Five-star rating and energy rating A as well. So that will come with the hair brush as well and attachments to pick up uh, embedded pet hair. HVR 160 from Curry's, £134 in green. And there's a pneumatic PPR240 Eco Vacuum Cleaner. Uh, a lot of these newer ones, they've moved the switches to the front of the vacuum. From Curry's Piece of World, they are £159 for a Henry Extra. So that, I believe, comes with more advanced tools. Same with this one, the HVX 200-12 and dash 11. I believe the dash 11 and 12 is for the motor wattage. So one probably 1200 watt and the other is 1100 watt. Um, there's a refurbished one there. Um, I mean, by all means, if you can, if you would wish to go for refurbished, do so. But just make sure you trust the person you're getting it from. That's why just be careful of eBay if you do get them from there. There's the Henry Allergy in a very nice pale blue colour. So they all come mainly in the red classic Henry, but if you want colour, like, you know, you're a collector or you just prefer a different colour, then by all means go for that. You can buy a lot of parts for these as well, readily available. Um, the HVR 200A is still sold, um, but it's a lot harder to find because they have brought down, I think it was anything over 1300 watt was not able to be sold. So I hope this has helped you guys. And there will definitely be a lot more vacuum cleaner reviews in the future. But if you really want professional vacuum reviews, please head over and check out iBasiac's channel. I will put Roger's channel link in my description. He is honestly the number one for vacuum cleaner reviews. And he's actually what the person who inspired me, to be honest, to do. It's probably because of him that I've really, I think it is, that I've started to do reviews ever since watching his videos for the first time. He's inspired me to do a lot for my channel, so please go on and check him out. I hope this helps in many ways. There's a lot more reviews coming up. We're next looking at something in the health and beauty section. A Remington F3 style foil shaver. And hopefully even some washing machine reviews to come up. So, hope you guys enjoyed that very much. And thank you very much for watching. And don't forget to stay safe and keep it supreme and go with the flow.